Mendeley makes it easy for you to continue building your library. The web importer is a booklet that you can add to the web browser. When you click on this item in your browser's favorites, the web importer will attempt to detect references on the page you're viewing and ask if you want to add them to your library. You can also use it to add web pages to your library. I'll show you the web importer in more detail shortly. Mendeley also operates a research catalog, the largest crowdsourcing collection of papers available online. You can search the online catalog to identify references you want in your library and add them with just a few clicks. Certain online catalogs, such as Science Direct, pictured here, allow you to export references directly to Mendeley. Look out for the export button on pages like this. Other catalogs will allow you to export in file formats, such as RIS, which can then be added to Mendeley using the file menu. Syncing is a core concept in Mendeley. Whenever you make changes in Mendeley, you'll need to sync in order to push those changes up into cloud storage. Syncing will also pull down any pages made on other devices. It's a good idea to sync regularly to ensure that your documents and annotations are saved in the cloud. You can sync at any time by using the sync button. Mendeley will also sync automatically each time you open it. Now that you're familiar with adding references to your library, let's talk again about how you can order and structure your library. Mendeley's desktop interface should be fairly intuitive if you're familiar with programs like iTunes or even Gmail. The left-hand panel offers a number of different options to help filter your document list to exactly what you need to find. The default position when opening Mendeley Desktop is All Documents, which will list all items in your library. It's up there. You can use the column headings, such as author names, year, etc., to order your documents by that value. This can be useful for finding works by a specific author, for example. When you add materials to your library, they will initially be marked as unread indicated by a large green dot in the second column. You can toggle this off and on by clicking it. Alternatively, a document will be marked as read once you've spent a certain amount of time reading it in the Mendeley PDF reader. You can start documents to mark them as favorites. They can then be easily retrieved via the left-hand panel. You can also use the left-hand panel to access items you've recently added or items you've recently read. Folders allow you to quickly file your references under different topic headings. You can drag and drop references from your library onto the folder name in the left-hand panel to add that reference to a folder. You can also create folders within existing folders. Mendeley offers a powerful search tool to help you to locate items in your library. Just enter your search term in the field, which appears in the top right corner, and Mendeley will filter your current view to show references which contain that term. It will also search within the full text of PDF papers, which appear in your library. The search is context specific, so if you're not getting the results you expect to make, sure that you have the appropriate folder selected in the left-hand panel. If in doubt, select All Documents. Use the Clear button, which appears on the yellow, bar, yellow toolbar, to remove the search filter. You can also use tags to help locate a reference or references within your library. You can add multiple tags to your references using the Document Detail panel when you have the reference selected. Then use the Filter by My Tags menu, which appears in the bottom left-hand corner, to quickly pull up materials that you've tagged. The list of available tags will only display tags used in your current folder view. So again, make sure that you are viewing the appropriate folder or 
all documents before attempting to filter. You may find that after collecting a library of references that you have accumulated some duplicate entries where two copies of the same reference have been added to your library. Luckily, Mendeley can clean these up for you. Use the Check for Duplicates found in the Tools menu. Mendeley will identify any duplicate entries and offer to merge these into a single combined entry. You will be able to check over the details of the combined version before the merger is completed, allowing you to, make, to take details from each of the entries you're merging. If you've added PDF papers to your library, you'll also be able to open them for reading within Mendeley Desktop. This offers you a number of opportunities. The reader's layout will be familiar if you've used Adobe Acrobat or similar software. At the top of the screen, you'll see a number of tools, which are mostly self-explanatory. You'll also notice that Mendeley operates a tabbed format, allowing you to alt open multiple PDFs for reading at once and to switch back and forth between them. Mendeley will remember where you were up to in a paper when you open it and take you back to the same place. You can highlight important passages using the highlight tool, just as you would when reading a physical copy. This allows you to pick out important passages from a paper. You can also add notes to the paper to help organize your thoughts. These can be done either in the notes box, which appears in the documents detail panels. These notes are document wide and can also be viewed from the main library view without opening the paper for reading. Alternatively, you can add sticky notes to specific locations in the text. These allow you to make context specific notes at a particular location. Sticky notes that are added in this way will appear in the list of annotations in the document details panel. You can use these entries to jump to the appropriate location within the paper allowing you to retrieve your notes.